to the Quantum Physics Show, Saturday, September 17th, 2011, at Winter Street Studios. Physics uh, can might be explained by how people consider the quantum physics aspect, where the theory is an observation of an event changes the actual event itself. Okay, there, there are no there are no innocent bystanders in quantum physics, and in art it's the same way. A lot of time the randomness of quantum physics. One of the things that Einstein had a problem with was that God did not play dice. The fact that quantum physics can give you odds factor, but they can't specifically tell you and predict the exact thing that's going to happen. And, and Einstein had a big problem with that. He came up with the thing that God did not play dice. He had a big problem with his theories and, and the theory of, of, of quantum physics, quantum mechanics, and trying to disprove it. In fact, he, he spent his life trying to disprove this theory that he helped create. All right. Uh, hello, all. I am Corrigius Original, and I'll be featured also in the uh, Parallel Universe. Uh, quantum physics show. Uh, very happy to be featured. I'm a local, international local poet and uh, a standard artist, I guess you could say. Um, Let me read something for you from Darkness is the Light. God said I'm too emotional for a robot. The life is too upside for a by slot. Every spirit, every spiral, the galaxy is fingerprint, plots and munition from the flower that grows of the individual. Not to be confused, sequential to rest, a perfected lesson, and not. And uh, again, I'm Chris Richard now, and I'll be uh, in the Fairly Universe show, and I'm going to be here. Uh, the whole theme behind Parallel Universes is, is that there, there are other things out there besides just us. And I'm Randy Burton. I'm here on behalf of Justice for Children, an organization I started in May of 1987. Uh, we started Justice for Children out of our belief that the system that's supposed to be protecting children from abuse and neglect is a terrible failure. I discovered this firsthand as a prosecutor roughly 25 years ago, and I saw where children were being reunited with abusive parents or left in dangerous homes to begin with. They were being re-abused are being murdered, and we decided that that had to stop. We, we came into existence following the death of a little baby by the name of Jesse Wheeler, uh, who was like a poster child for how the system isn't working. And they put him back in the home uh, after removing him from awful circumstances, only for him to be re-abused. And when the caseworker with CPS went out to investigate the family, found black eyes and bruises, and yet did nothing. A few weeks later, he was murdered by his stepfather, someone who was under indictment for the rape of a four-year-old girl. And we said, this can no longer exist. And so we are there, and when somebody has a problem with getting the attention of the authorities, whether that's CPS, law enforcement, or the family courts or juvenile courts have failed them, or the DA isn't doing anything, they call us. So when the system fails a child, call Justice for Children, and we spring into action. We are their last best hope. We, unfortunately, are their only hope. When the system doesn't respond, our lawyers and caseworkers spring into action, and we go into court on behalf of the child. So our goal is to protect children when the system fails. We've done it for 25 years. We've got a huge amount of experience. We also work to change the laws. We have an office in DC, and we work in state legislatures as well as Congress 
to make the system more accountable. One of the things we learned is that the state gets more money when they don't take children out of dangerous homes. It seems crazy. And so we are there to encourage uh, and if necessary, force the system to remove these children when they have credible evidence of abuse and neglect. We've rewritten the federal law to make uh, it more important to protect the child than to protect the home or to preserve the family unit when children are being raped or their bones are being broken. So I'm honored to be here on behalf of Justice for Children. We're grateful for the funds that are being generated by this fantastic event that help us to continue our work. And uh, the confluence of art um, and child abuse are well documented. We use art all the time to help uh, as a form of therapy for adult victims of abuse as well as children. And uh, it, I encourage everybody here to buy as much art as they can to support these artists and to support this great cause. What does that mean? I said, My love is the sun, shine on you every day. My love is the wind, that I blow them all away. Don't you know my love is the rain, to wash all the pain away? Don't you know my love is the sun, hit you from a million miles away?